Welcome to Healthy Habits. In today's video, we will be talking all about diabetes. The number of people with diabetes is higher than it has ever been. In today's video, we will be looking at the ways to prevent and reduce diabetes risk. First, we will be talking about different types of diabetes. If you have type 1 diabetes, your pancreas makes little to no amounts of insulin. Insulin helps blood sugar enter the cells in your body. For use as energy, without insulin, your body will break down its own fat and muscle. Type 2 diabetes occurs when the body doesn't produce enough insulin to function properly, or the body doesn't react to insulin. This means glucose stays in the blood and isn't used as fuel for energy. In diabetes type 2, the pancreas makes less insulin than used to, and your body becomes resistant. Type 2 diabetes is more common. It is often associated with obesity and tends to be diagnosed in older people. Due to increased obesity rates, type 2 diabetes is seen in all age groups. First, we have regular exercise. Doing physical activity regularly may help prevent diabetes. Exercise increases the insulin sensitivity of your cells, meaning that you need less insulin to manage your blood sugar levels. Physical activity also helps control blood sugar levels and lowers your risk of heart disease and nerve damage. Many types of physical activity have been shown to reduce insulin resistance and blood sugar levels. These include aerobic exercise, high-intensity interval training, and strength training. Next, we have increasing water intake. Sticking with water as your drink of choice will help you limit beverages that are high in sugar. Drinking water regularly may rehydrate the blood, lower blood sugar levels, and reduce diabetes risk. Water dilutes the amount of sugar in the bloodstream. Sugary beverages like soda and fruit juices have been linked to an increased risk of diabetes. In contrast, Increased water intake may lead to better blood sugar management and insulin response. The next method to lower diabetes risk is weight loss. Carrying extra weight may increase your risk of diabetes, in particular, visceral fat. Excess weight in your midsection and around your abdominal organs is associated with insulin resistance, inflammation, and diabetes. Losing weight could help the insulin you produce or the insulin you inject to work properly, in some cases. Weight loss is enough to restore blood sugar to normal levels. The next method to lower diabetes risk is quitting smoking. Smoking has been shown to cause or contribute to many serious health conditions. Research links smoking to diabetes. Smoking may increase insulin resistance and inhibit insulin secretion. Studies have shown that insulin can start to become more effective at lowering blood sugar levels eight weeks after a smoker quits. The next method is reducing carb intake. Your body breaks down carbs into small sugar molecules, which are absorbed into your bloodstream. The resulting rise in blood sugar stimulates your pancreas to produce insulin. Reducing carb intake can help stabilize blood glucose. It may also counteract some other effects of diabetes. Replacing carbs with foods that have less of an effect on blood sugar may reduce your risk. Next, we have reducing alcohol intake. Drinking excessive amounts of alcohol has been linked to an increased risk of developing diabetes. Alcohol interferes with your blood sugar levels. It can also increase your chances of gaining weight and can make losing weight more difficult. There's nothing wrong with a little alcohol in moderation. But it's important to avoid drinking excessive amounts of alcohol or drinking on a very regular basis. Finally, we have healthy eating. Being overweight or obese puts you at greater risk of developing diabetes. A diet that's low in fat, sugar and salt, and contains lots of fruits and vegetables will reduce your cholesterol levels and can support you in losing weight. There is evidence that eating a low-calorie diet can help with symptoms of diabetes. A healthy diet will also help you manage your blood sugar level. Overall, diabetes is becoming more and more common in today's society. A healthy diet, regular physical activity, and maintaining a normal body weight are ways to prevent or delay the onset of diabetes. Eating the right foods and adopting other lifestyle behaviors that promote healthy blood sugar and insulin levels. 
will give you the best chance of avoiding diabetes. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more healthy habits content.